Well, hello. Um, this is my uh, daily taking control of uh, your day post and coming to you from our bedroom because one thing that I'm really grateful for, which I talk about all the time, is uh, you have to really acknowledge the things that you're grateful for. And that is, uh, my husband always gets us ready. He loves doing the packing. I don't say he loves it, but he's really good at it and I let him. Because for the most part, we wear pretty much the same things. That's an advantage of being in a same-sex relationship. Same size, sort of. But taking control of my day today included, uh, yeah, checking in the airline because we're flying tomorrow. And it's a little weird now. Haven't flown since the pandemic hit. And so, you know, we're in for a surprise. We'll be documenting that, I'm sure. Now it's a little bit risky, but, um, I think it's also a little bit safe too because they take so many precautions. We'll see. I just have to expect that it's going to be, you know, probably a little tumultuous, a little bit difficult, a little, you know, on the stressful side. Travel usually is, but it's going to be so worth it to see my family, my girls, my grandkids, and uh, my uh, grandson is turning four on Sunday, and so can't miss a birthday. So I've got three grandkids. There's three reasons each year that I have to go and you know bringing him along because he's available say hi hi he's packing our stuff he's got it all laid out so organized got us some food and all that stuff today uh, did a last-minute work I'm working oh, yeah, you also you told me you were gonna Venmo me some money because you were gonna um, pitch in it's so always about I the spent. money it's always about the money are you gonna um, um hey, you're interrupting my life are you gonna take control of that and, and do it yeah, okay he always spins everything Filipino? around to money. You know, yeah. Filipino, that's how we call each Excuse other, Excuse me, right? you're, you're interrupting my flow. You're, you're making me lose control of my day. See what I'm saying? So, taking control of your day means taking control of your day, having your list and agenda. I did, but you know what? I, seriously, I set out to preview five, five, five homes. You have to do through all of these things to prepare these homes. Mm -hmm. I mean, to prepare your, your, your uh, I'm in California and we mm -hmm. have requirements. It's called a PED, a PED form. You have to send it to, to the, the listing agent uh, before you show a property and they have to acknowledge they've received it. Then you have to show up and wear your mask and your gloves and your booties and uh, scour everything down. So I decided, my clients from out of town, I decided I'm gonna go do a preview first before I bring them along. And I'm glad that I did because out of the five that I set up, I only got to actually see one. Hmm. Stuff happens. But did I spend a lot of time doing it? Yeah. In the middle, I got a nice visit in with my mother. Lives in the neighborhood, so that's really good. Sometimes losing control is not such a bad thing, but it's always good to have intention and also yeah. to, to recognize gratitude first thing. Because, man, when the first thing starts going wrong, you're going to be like, eh, life sucks. I hate everything, you know? Oh, God. I mean... I, I'm just saying that because I know of somebody that has been that way before. It wasn't me, though. Ooh, it wasn't, it wasn't me. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Not me. It's still important, though, to do as, the best you can. So here's what I'm working on. And that's actually on my list of things because every day, and um, it aligns with uh, people who you, you may know me or in the same coaching program as I am, but any successful, any success-oriented uh, methods or, or, or coaching involves positivity, mindset, and taking control of your day. <laughs> and uh, so I actually factored in chill out, relax, go into vacation mode. At the same time, <laughs> I'm supposed to be tracking every single minute of my time for, for a whole week. It's one of the assignments that I have. It's going to be interesting on vacation. It's like, because, you know, I'm going to let, let down a bit. I'm going to play with my grandkids and just like not get uptight about stuff and just relax. Um, that's kind of difficult for some people. Well, I don't say difficult, but it's something I'm not accustomed to. I'm accustomed to go, 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 go. I actually also delegated a video editing editing job to somebody else. Yeah, me, I did. It's in being done. Um, Are you arguing so. with yourself? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. And sometimes just because, you know, you talk to yourself doesn't mean that whatever <laughs> as long as you don't answer yourself you can answer yourself hey Melinda uh, where there are you in the beginning <laughs> hi Kathy 
Is that the maid behind him doing the housework and making the bed? No, he's not making the bed, he's packing. Because, hey, if I try to get involved, I get in trouble. Seriously, that's my, that's my point. So you're on, that's the Mel Robbins people. So I am on broadcasting to two different phones. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Judy. Hey, Sonia. And Debbie again. Wait, Debbie, are you going to be, are you going to double dip again? <laughs> so I have two uh, cameras going, which I usually do. And we want when we're on a trip. We'll probably just be doing one at a time, which is fine. But we, I like to broadcast to the Mel Robbins five second rule group because it's something that I resonate with. It's something that really helped me out starting about three years ago when I started, when I fell into it. And, and she, um, that was kind of the year of change. It was like from 2017 to 2018. And then I also uh, did her Mindset Reset, which was the following year. Uh, read all of her stuff, listened to actually on Audible. Um, taking, take control, taking Control of Your Life is the name of one of her books, and it's awesome. But I resonate with her because she's real, she's transparent. Have you ever seen her stories on Instagram? And it says, uh, like her, um, her coffee cup as she's pouring it, it says, good morning, asshole. <laughs> and uh, she does, she does, she pokes fun at negativity, and um, thing is, you can't stay on it. You know, recognize that that's human, right? We're not perfect. Me. He just hit me in the head. It's abuse. It's spousal abuse. Yeah, he likes to call himself a maid. I get, I get some um, credit for some things. Uh, but anyway, taking control of your life also means factoring in relaxation, rewarding yourself with all the hard work that you do do, do do, <laughs> and then staying, um, still staying laser focused on on the goal and that will also include factoring in balance so I'm also doing this that, that time study that I mentioned before it includes four different categories um, and those are strategic or tactical for your business strategic tactical that's two right and one of them is family time and the other one is self-care and so there's a so two of them are kind of personal and two of them are kind of business related I tend to be too you know weighted on the business yeah. side so it's, it's good for me to be tracking my time and seeing how much time I'm spending um, on that. So anyway, it's an interesting thing. Uh, yeah, that's right, Kristen. She bears it all. Yes, I agree. And um, yes, chill and relax, Lynn, for sure. That's what I plan to do. And it's, uh, it's looking good. Even though it's really hot here, there's still a few little concerns about, you know, the travel and they just put some... 14 day uh, quarantine requirements if you're traveling from one place to another. I think the destinations that we're going to won't be like that. We'll only be gone for five days, but um, gotta see my kids. Yep, we've got all the gear and all of the prep. So I uh, just wanted to come on here. Um, we'll be heading out real early in the morning and be probably documenting our trip. And so it's all good. So if anybody else has traveled, uh, let me know if you, what your experience has been um, with the airlines and, and the airport and all of that. Um, I mean, we're going to do it. They're open. I know they're, they're only uh, flying at half capacity, so that means we get our, our whole row to ourselves, right? But we're supposed to keep the masks on. How do we eat and drink? I think we're going <laughs> to cut a slit in the middle of it. No, it doesn't work. So, okay. Anyway, thank you, Melinda. Uh, yeah, plan to have a good time with the kiddos. Thanks so much for watching and really appreciate your support. Hey, were you gonna say hi at all? No, he was just gonna harass me a little bit, make fun, so. Thank you all for, there was so much response from his um, getting a citizenship yesterday. Just like so many people with the graduations, birthdays, I had a landmark birthday, um, anniversaries, weddings. Oh my gosh, there was a wedding we were supposed to go to, we couldn't. Um, all that stuff was canceled. So, I, come here, come on, say, say hello, say. Thank you to people that, that acknowledged yesterday. Yes. Oh my God, I look so dark. I've been outside. Here, how about let's turn up the sun. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a ring light. I, I fell asleep impressed. outside under the sun you for did? like a long time. No, oh, I'm just kidding. Great. Yeah, yeah I just want to say thank you to everybody, you guys, that said congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate it. Yes. Just, you know. He's a citizen. He can, he can, he's legal now. So. Huh? You were legal before, don't get mad. God, he's reactive, he's so reactive. <laughs> what are they saying? Thank you, thank yeah. you. All right, have a great evening, and hey, you're not taller than me, don't try. I'm not there. trying. Okay. Bye. I'll talk to you again tomorrow, bye.